Hello, it's Burgess Taylor, our Journey with Burgess, and we're going to do week three update for One Book July. Last year, we one of the projects was to read the Bullet Journal Method by Ryder Carroll, and one of the things that a lot of uh, the people that were in the the Carrie and Roe and um, Mimi and Miss Vicky B. They talked about the bullet journal method. This year, Carrie's going over The One Thing by Gary Keller. And I've been switching things every week. I started out in A5. I went to Standard. Nope. I started out in A5. I went to B6. Then I went to Standard. This week, I'm back in the B6. And I'm going to be revamping this, and then I'm going to show you August's setup. We'll get to this in a few minutes, and we'll get to this in a few minutes. But what I want to talk about, first and foremost, is what I've learned. I've been having a hard time with the one thing, because my priorities are more like I have three main priorities that I concentrate on every day I cost I concentrate on actually before priorities I concentrate on work home and then I'll family and self I try to get some me time in there somewhere where I'm meditating stretching getting outside taking a walk that kind of stuff I'm also concentrating on things like um, taking 30 minutes to read for fun for you know and then I usually read at least 30 minutes or so in the mornings one of uh, a, a non-fiction book I'm reading several different books so some days it's this some days it's it's one of these three books I don't have time to read a chapter from every single book unless I make the time. And part of my self care is to learn things. But one of the things that over this past week, over last week kept going through my mind, kept going through my mind, is a lot of people see, um, okay, if you, a lot of people, we talked about this last year when we were doing the bullet journal method in one book July is that a lot of people there's this big sort of divide for a lot of people where you've got the bujo and then you got the bullet journal the bullet journal looks more like Ryder Carroll's bullet journal you know it's it's this minimal let's see and he even has a section here where he talks about the art so we're talking you know very minimal and then you've got the fancy and he has the section in here about the fancy, um, the art, what what a lot of people refer to as the creative bullet journals. What is what is a creative bullet journal? Creative bullet journal can be any number of things, but that's a whole different tangent. As a planner, I'm coming at planning from a journaler's perspective. I'm not a planner planner person. I, I'm a, definitely a bullet journal person though. And I came to realize last year during One Book July that the reason the bullet journal method works so well for me is that I can either be creative in it or I can be more minimal in it. If I'm really busy and, and I don't, uh, let's say I'm, I'm going, I've got a lot of house projects going on. I've got a lot of family stuff going on and I had time to set up my bullet journal with some pretty fancy, you know, art kind of, you know, the Bujo stuff. But then for all the rest of the time, it's more minimal. That's cool. It's my burn bullet journal. It's my bullet journal. I can do what I want to with it. Last week in the standard, I was only doing to do's. Had the calendar set up and I was really pretty much only doing to do's because I had most of everything else in here. So this was what I was considering to be the planner part. And I was doing the to do's and the insert for the standard. And that just kind of threw me. 
and I realized that I needed to either have the standard completely set up the way that I was set up a bullet journal or I needed to use things I needed to have my my method my system working for me and it, I had split things up and it wasn't really working I use my calendar as my planner my calendar is my planner that's my planner the calendar all the rest of it is the journal it's the to do's are helping me keep things in my head organized so that I don't forget what's in my head or I don't get distracted and the squirrels are running rampant and the to-do list actually kind of keeps me going okay I'm, I'm, I'm I have momentum and I usually list my to-do's in order of what I'm doing now I don't put my morning routine really on there anymore I do every now and again when I know it's going to be a very busy day and I need to get those things done because sometimes I have a tendency not to do my morning routine or to skip parts of my morning routine because I'm like, oh, I just need to get to work. I need to get things done, especially on Mondays. And Mondays is the day that where I really need some of that morning routine. So I remind myself by putting it over in a little corner somewhere, my morning routine. Now, one of the other things that I've noticed over this past few, over the past few weeks is that I absolutely, absolutely love the B6 size. It's my jam. And Tomaway River Paper, whether it's 52 or 68 GSM, is also my jam. The thing that comes the closest to Tomaway River Paper is Stology Paper. That's what comes the closest. I really liked last week when I was doing the Creative Journal. Uh, let's let's see. So I kept going in here. I need to fill it in for yesterday. This was where I was doing my to-dos. This was where I was using it as a bullet journal. And I was writing out today and I would write like a paragraph or two of what I wanted to manifest for today. Or I would go back in and write how the day went. But I, I would add little bits here and there. I planned out a copy chat in here. I did some plopping to show you backgrounds. I did different things to show you how I could actually journal my day. And this is my creative journal. So I did things that are more about the creative journal. I did some swatching of some watercolors and wrote out the coffee chat in here for Patreon. This is The Outsider is a book that I'm currently reading, along with all the other books that I'm currently reading. And then I showed you how I would journal my day. And this was um, where I had some things on my mind and I wanted to get them out. This is where I showed you journaling my day. So this is a mixture of my creative life, which is primarily over here, and then personal life, which is primarily over here. And then I haven't finished this page. And I used the heat gun to dry this and forgot all about the pictures on here. So they have this blue tint to the, yeah. So then um, I was using it this is where you can tell Thursday, like this week, I wasn't using it as a bullet journal. I had the to do's in the standard, but I was using it as the creative journal. So this week I'm back to doing bullet journaling in it. Only I changed a few things up and I still have, this was yesterday. This is what I did for a Patreon's video. And then this is today's. And I've already written some things. My one big thing that I learned from last week is that I have to use the, the system and the method that works for me. The bullet journal method works for me, only I like to add creative bits. Not necessarily just art, but uh, I have my own version of sketch notes. Most people, like I said, they're thinking of planning journaling as completely separate and the bullet journal method he sort of has it combined and a lot of people because of the log they don't see it as a planner i don't put i put a log and a calendar in it because i need my bullet journal to also be a planner now one of the things i am changing up i don't have the insert here yet it's coming from paper penguin is that i'm going to have an insert in here which is why this will be, I've got to finish doing this. This will, the insert will be in here and it will be, 
I may end up switching things back because I, I need the insert. This has the strings. This one doesn't have the strings. But I, I'm going to have a 12-month calendar in B6 size. I had one, but it was an actual insert insert, like a thick insert. And it had extra pages in it. And I don't need those pages. So I'm going to put the calendar, the 12-month calendar insert from Paper Penguin in here. Or in here, I guess. Um, and this will be my one, <laughs> my bullet journal to rule them all in a way because it will be a planner and my bullet journal and if you need to separate things to do that I, then it's cool but what I've realized is that I my bullet journal will only last me three months and I actually need a 12 month calendar and I don't want to keep writing out 12 month calendars in my journal I, I could set it up like a Hobonichi uh, but if I get the 12 month insert I can put it in here and then I can go back in and fill in the important things from the last few months on that calendar so that I have it and they they kind of work like a, a log or a chronicle a document of my life the bullet journal is just as much a document of my life as my journal is my journal art journal so yeah I think I'm probably gonna have like I said I'm probably gonna have to switch this and put the bullet journal stuff in here and put my journal stuff in here which is fine because this pin pouch matches and I have the things that I normally like I use for bullet journaling in here but I can it's a lot of these same things with the exception of this are things that I use to to create art with I don't know where the little cap to this went I'm gonna have to see if I can find it it's probably on the floor in here somewhere so other than just switching the, the covers around which is not a big deal and this will become my journal and which is fine because this has this so that I can put ephemera and stickers or whatever in in here another thing that I learned is that I love the standard absolutely love the standard for lists so for reference for journaling for note taking I have this insert in the back here it's from Lulu Lime Designs and I will leave the link below and it has it's the one with the heart on it It has tome away river paper in it I doc, started documenting my favorite supplies um, I, this is one of the projects that we're working on this is where we're doing our floor and I've got some of the things that we had to get I watched extremely wicked shockingly evil and vile with by about Ted Bundy with Zac Efron in it my daughter has suggested it she knows how passionate I am about true crime and things like that I love documentaries movies TV shows about true crime dr. G forensic I like all kinds of stuff I will podcast everything but I messed up his face so it doesn't really look like Zac Efron I mean it doesn't really look like Ted Bundy I have started setting this up because I'm going to do a list of which is why you have this like this and I'm going to be putting a list down of things that I purchase and then over to the side I can um, document different things like if especially if I got more than one thing I'm on a no spend now I've spent too much money already <laughs> so that's where I'm at with that and then this was what I was using as a bullet journal so what I'm thinking is I'm going to be putting my goals and intentions in here and uh, and then I'm going to be doing more of that kind of stuff in here I'm um, keeping up with that because this is just what I was using as a bullet journal and I started it here but I didn't have enough room so this is where I was doing the bullet journal and that that this part worked okay but I missed having it all in one thing so now this these are from rock your notebook these inserts that are tumbleway river paper and their dot grid the grid is smaller the dot grid is smaller than say the Enigma um, or the breeze and there's dot grid smaller than the dot grid that's on like Nanami papers uh, crossfield or the other one with the dot grid micro dot they're a little bit smaller which means that my big handwriting I have to actually work at concentrate on making I like the bigger grid but one of the things that I've been realizing because I've been in this book which is the Wonder Book 222 or the Wonderland Book to Notebook 222. This grid is also smaller. 
um, as you can see, it is smaller. This is fantastic. It's 52 GSM Tumbleweed River paper. The pages are numbered. It has an index already for you and it has a thing for a key. I debated, I thought about keeping this as the bullet journal and setting August up in here, but I realized that I have really enjoyed using this as a creative journal and I'm going to continue because I actually use some of the keys in here. Like if I make a note of something and then I need to put it in the bullet journal or whatever, I can do that. Goals and intentions and things like that here. Uh, finances and things like, I got watercolor on there. Finances, spending. I'm also going to have lists. So I'm going to make some um, up. To, I'm going to make some tabs up top and use those for like sections. I'll, I'm thinking I'm going to section it out and put my collections list in here so that it doesn't have to be in the actual bullet journal. Um, I really love the standard. It's a, it's easy to go. Uh, but what I have been thinking is um, maybe putting August's calendar in here um, and keeping the, or I've also been thinking about moving this and keeping this uh, maybe later and then uh, putting my weeks, my Hobonichi weeks in here and using it as a calendar and stuff so I don't have to actually write out calendars. It's one of the things I've been thinking about doing is keeping and then saving this insert for when this insert is full. Um, I'm still debating on how I wanna do this because I, I have a Hobonichi weeks and it's my self care thing and I already put my appointments and stuff. And this is working really well as an everyday carry. I throw, I find I throw this in my bag and I actually use it way more than I was using the A6, which is in the Moterm cover. I don't, I, I'm, I wrote down my grocery list, but I can do that in here. So we're going to see how they, I'm going to redo the setup maybe over the weekend or the beginning of next week for August for this. I've already got the bullet journal set up, so this I don't need to set up right away. I need to kind of mull over things and really figure out what's gonna work best for this for an everyday carry, because I absolutely love this for an everyday carry. I don't wanna carry all my journals around. I want to be able to have one journal, throw it in my purse, uh, because eventually I'm gonna be going back to doing things outside of the house. And that's, my mom, still had doctor's appointments and I've got to make an eye doctor appointment. I've also got to reschedule a doctor's appointment, a regular doctor's appointment and reschedule my appointment with the dermatologist. I want to redo my setup and I'm okay. I think with putting the weeks in here, I may just take this insert out and then use this insert that's in here since I've already got things planned and it will just be like one, it will be the insert for the list and the finances and, and maybe my goals and intentions or I might put my goals and intentions in a different thing but I do want my finances and stuff because when I'm out and about that's when I need to know when bills are due if I'm if or when I can make an appointment and things like that the the last thing I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about is that I've been um, using this Peganol it's the radish color as my planner pouch I have my mild liners in it and eraser in it my correction tape in it, a glue stick in it, little scissors, one or two Crayola super tips in different shades of blue that I've been using for this month. It's my planner pouch. And then I've been using this with it and throwing that in there like that. If I switch these around, then it'll be my art. But I've been trying to keep things color coordinated. As far as the art stuff goes, which is why I don't need to use this as an art pouch and why I might end up putting my fountain pens in there, but I have my Escoda brushes in here. We have another plane coming. I'm, I have my Escoda brushes in here. And in here, I have, I have a few things missing from here. That's probably where that white pen. So I have water brushes have a ruler. I have some black um, marker things for drawing. I have 
my sailor with the weird nib 45 or 55 degree angle my flex nib two different white pens I have a uniball signo in the point 38 in black a big crystal a white prismacolor pen colored pencil a muji pen which doesn't need to be in there I don't know why that one's in there this one actually should be in there so I need to move this okay and this picks up lint I love this thing but you see this it picks up lint so I have my eraser my pencil sharpener an extra platinum carbon cartridge in there Let's see so that's the black Peganol. this is the radish Peganol. I love all of this black and red I know it's a bit dark for some people and then I have the superior label labor pin roll wrap thing and I have uh, the Schmincke Bijou box with the Schmincke colors in it um, it came with eight of the colors I added some of my own colors into there this I can fill up with water and I can use this as a little mixing thing I also have the metal little the little metal ones um, and I also have some plastic ones so this goes in here and then in here I have a uniball eye I love drawing with those too um, and then uh, a couple of things that I need to put over here have my platinum carbon pin my Twisby Eco I think this has the gray ink in it Lexington gray I have a pencil a Bolograph ballpoint pen the uniball I don't need the Hobonichi I have this which is a platinum fountain pen and I have polar brown by, by noodlers in here for uh, if I want to draw with brown because it's waterproof and I think what I'm going to do is switch some things around I had it set up and then I went to the living room and did some drawing and pulled things out and didn't put them back where they go I'm working on this part and uh, getting it organized because this is what I want to take I want to take this and my sketchbook my journal and I can use either one I have been putting and I can put this art toolkit in here and that's what I was also doing last week was trying to figure out my setup because I want to start going plain air sketching again and one book July has showed me that I need to get out of my own way I need to get out of my own way and quit over complicating and over analyzing things and quit letting and let go of the fear let go of the fear I'm not afraid of a blank page but there's something about journaling or sketching anything where I'm, I'm doing that kind of like if I'm adding art uh, out in front of people and but right now there's not that many people I could go to the park or I could go in my yard and nobody's really gonna be you know so uh, my daughter showed up and then I had to come um, stop the video <laughs> so you get to see a sneak peek of Miss Selena okay I have no idea where I was at my daughter that was my daughter she was calling me to let me know she was outside in the front yard so what I've done is I took my purple Eno pencil put it back here took the light blue one and put it right here so that I have what I need um, I've got the eraser in here and uh, this just ensures that I have plenty of stuff if I want to travel if I'm not traveling I can always take the eraser out of here I can use one of these erasers because I have uh, this too and I have the stick kind so I'm good to go with that stuff yeah I pretty much have everything I need within reason <laughs> this is a lot of stuff but uh, I like the idea of being able to pack the stuff in here because this is canvas 
And after a while, after I start using this more and I stretch it out more, I'll be able to fit more things in it. Um, I can, for example, I could take one of these water brushes and I could throw it right there. And I could take a thinner, something thinner and put it right there. I'm still working on my setup with these. But one of the things I wanted to do during One Book, one book July was to have my travel bag set up. And I'm, I'm almost there. I'm not quite there. Uh, and I think that's because I haven't actually been out and done any sketching. So one of the things I think I might do on Thursday is see if uh, my daughter wants to come over and um, maybe we can fill up the pool clean and fill up the pool and maybe um, I can take a couple of hours out of the day of, of doing the floor and all that stuff and maybe I can get some of um, get some plain air sketching done so that's that's where I'm at because um, these could actually go in my travel book backpack I have a small one and a big one so it would depend on where I was going as to how much I would actually pack in it and that's one of the things too that I really wanted to do was have that standard be something I could do travel journaling in and it would be also an everyday carry so that's that's where I'm at with all that now I'm going to show you August setup and we'll go on from there hello August now I need to watercolor this first and I'm going to put something down but I don't want to put it down until um, I've, I've watercolored because I don't want it to come back up. So what I'm going to do is, um, where's my pencil? I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to draw around it so that I know where it goes. Okay, so we're gonna, we want the water right around here. I just kind of want a general idea of where this is going. Okay. I didn't need to do the whole thing. So we're going to watercolor and uh, I'm going to have, I'm going to have some fun. I am going to move this a little bit down so you can actually see me. Uh, did you know that approximately 73 million sharks are killed a year for their fins for shark fin soup? Yeah, that's one of the things that you learn during Shark Week. Now, a lot of people wouldn't use Jaws as a um, <laughs> as something for Shark Week, but Jaws is what the movie Jaws is what made me realize that people were killing sharks unnecessarily. Sharks are apex predators. But when we go in their environment, we are in their environment. We are in their home. And they sometimes mistake us for things like seals. I, they don't really want to eat us. I don't think we taste very good to them. We don't have the kind of fat content that something like a seal has. But it does happen. And killing sharks unnecessarily is not a good thing. Jaws, after the movie Jaws came out, people were so like amped up and scared about sharks that they killed a whole bunch of sharks in the 70s and 80s. Um, so we, and we've got tons of shark movies. Now I'm a big shark fan. Uh, I grew up near the ocean on, um, at, at James Island and um, we were at Folly Beach a lot, all the time. I have a ring on my right index finger. You'll see it with the paintbrush there. It has a little tiny shark's tooth in it, a real one, along with sand and shells from Folly Beach, South Carolina. It's a little bit of home that I have on there. On the left-hand side, you don't see it very often, but there's a, it's a sterling silver ring with red sea glass in it. It's handmade. I just got that one for my birthday. <laughs> so anyway, I wanted to do sharks because I, I've, I think I might actually do tortoises, turtles, for September, I mean, yeah, for September, um, because we need to pay attention to those two. I don't think it's the right time of the year for that, but anyway, 
or maybe I'll do something else. I'll see because tortoises are green and I like to use green. I like to do green in September. Um, I might do something else though, but we'll see. But doing the setting up, I always set up something that has to do with ocean so I can include sharks when it comes to shark week. Normally shark week is around the end of July, right around my birthday. It usually starts right around my birthday or right after my birthday and it lasts for that last week of July. Well, this year it's not starting till August the 9th. And since I was doing ocean creatures uh, this month in July, I thought, well, why not do sharks and extend out the ocean creatures. So I may end up eventually doing like a beach theme. Um, I was thinking about doing the beach theme and then adding sharks to the mix, but I think I'm going to do sharks and add beach to the theme. <laughs> Might do a, uh, like an Amity Island kind of thing for maybe one, may, maybe a weekly setup, or I might just do something in there and maybe add a quote, a different quote, other than you're gonna need a bigger boat. I love that quote though, you're gonna need a bigger boat. Um, this month, I needed a bigger desk <laughs> for the writing and the One Book July stuff and everything else. I wanted to do a combination of stickers and the watercolor, I didn't wanna do just all watercolor, and I had these fantastic, um, Jaws themed stickers from Etsy and I had some other really cool shark um, themed stickers and I have my shark bookmark so I was like all pretty much halfway already set. Now I usually get out my shark pin bag and I may do that along with my um, shark lunchbox and stuff, my little shark book bag. I may or may not do that. I might do that actually for the week of Shark Week. Get that stuff out. Use my shark pin case. Because I, I just like to have fun with it. It, it, it is, I'm truly, a, Shark Week should be all year around, you know, <laughs> kind of person. Anyway, setting up the bullet journal, I made sure to include a tracker. And I actually put things on there that I will need. And I set up the tracker with uh, color coding. I also used two different logs, one for memories, and on the right hand side, I will probably draw a couple of things or add a couple of pictures. Um, I have my calendar in there, my log for actual uh, logging things on the right hand side has boxes and it says to do, working on, waiting on, and to buy. Now I included in this setup. Um, on the weekly, I wrote the word quotidian instead of like notes to self or to do's or tasks because I'm doing the Alistar method for the weekly setup and I, quotidian means everyday life or regular life, ordinary life. And my friend Maya Good went by the name Quotidian Light and quotidian just means everyday regular life. And I just was, she's really been on my mind, especially with Camp NaNoWriMo. So I used that word instead of tasks or do, to do's, just made me, I was thinking about her, I wanted to include it, and that's pretty much my setup. I cleaned the folio off, um, and now have the bullet journal in the Apple Pig B6 though, the Red Velvet Apple Pig B6, so <laughs> I've already switched things up since I filmed this using my little shark things, having fun. And that's what it is about. I like to express my creativity in a number of ways and the bullet journal and my regular journal allow me to do that. I hope you've enjoyed and you have a great one and I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching y'all. Bye.